After making it through the hottest day of the year in our first 90 degree day of 2016, we have a cool down coming. Yeah, that stubborn area of high pressure, which has kept our temperature soaring way above normal for two weeks now, is finally starting to show signs of moving on thanks to the weight of this massive storm system churning and burning its way through the eastern Pacific and now pushing into the west coast. This has already brought rain to coastal areas of California as well as Washington, Oregon, some intermountain snow as well. And you can see those clouds kind of coming down a little bit closer to Arizona as that high pressure finally starts to collapse and eventually moves on to the east. So what will this do for our temperatures? Well, you'll notice a change as early as Thursday. After a high of 90 Wednesday, we'll be down to a high of 83 Thursday, still above average, but a cool down indeed. You'll notice a few more clouds in our skies. Change will definitely be in the air and a little bit breezy at times with sustained wind up to about 10 miles per hour, but the gusts will be stronger than that. Our highs across Cochise County coming back down to the 70s for Wilcox, Bowie, and Bisbee. 79 Sonoida, 79 Nogales. You'll still be in the 80s though, Marana as well as Green Valley. 81 for Ajo, 79 Picacho as well as Safford, Tucson at 83, 62 for Summer Haven. And then look what happens by Friday will be cooler still with a high of 82 degrees and partly sunny skies, meaning you'll actually see more clouds than sun on Friday. Friday. Breezy once again as the storm system just passes through to our north. Could even see some rain in the mountains, but not really counting on that here in the valley. And then Saturday, 82 degrees. We'll be back in record territory by Sunday when full on sunshine returns and staying in the low to mid 80s through the first part of next work week.